at Y254 channel is where you can find us across all our social at Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social media handles in this particular particular session we dive into an interview that looks at influencer marketing and in studio I am joined by Onyango Owiru famously known as uh, Baba Nyambu Asante Sala thank you for coming through thank you, thank you. and then we have the man himself this is not this is literally home now at this particular point <laughs> thank you very much I think um, I've been to this place a couple of times, so yeah, yeah it's so home. All right, introduce yourself for, for the people who are meeting you for the first time. My, my name is Maina A. Mwangi. Uh, I am the creative director at uh, Jikoni Essentials. Mm -hmm. uh, Jikoni Essentials is uh, a product for our homes right at the heart. We, we are trying to get into your homes by giving you products and services mm -hmm. in the best way in the best way possible all right yes. and today baba nyambu is uh, you know he's the link between mm -hmm. the, the people of society and you guys as the you know as a as a company or any yes. as a brand mm -hmm. that it is and today we're talking about influencer marketing and baba nyambu briefly take us through tell us your story because i'm sure people back at home they're watching who a fan base kule nyumbani mm -hmm. so take us through your story for the people who, who uh uh are just seeing you for the first time and uh and then we can pick it up from there Ah, wonderful. So, for those uh, tuning in for the first time and those seeing me here for the first time, I, I go by Onyango Owiro or Caleb, those who know me, or by Banyambu famously on social media and all that. So, our story is one of a tragedy to something really amazing. Because it, it started out uh, when my wife was in the it was in 2019. At the time of the accident, she was three months pregnant with the, the girl you've seen her uh, jumping around. Yes. Uh, so um, now you can imagine someone is, uh, someone is three months pregnant, you're in an accident, you are rendered immobile, you cannot do anything on your own. So I had to take care of her from the very first day that she was in that accident to the day she, she delivered. So you can imagine I'm the man of the house, I'm doing all the kitchen work, I'm doing all the washing. So that is where the idea came. How, how, how about we share with the whole world this amazing story? You know, in, in the African setup, men are not even supposed to step in the, in the kitchen. In the kitchen yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I used to share, I used to share on, on Facebook uh, groups and uh, on pages and on my own personal profile uh, the journey from the time of the accident, throughout the recovery process until she gave birth to mm. the lovely baby. To the beautiful Nyambu. Yeah, yeah, Nyambu. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, for you, well, it came to, I understand that it, it's a, it's a, how do I put it? It's, an, it's a story that uh, led to something beautiful that you guys exactly. are uh, exactly. actually into right now. Mm. So how did you position yourself as an influencer? Um, influencer marketing is a, it's something that uh, uh, many people have been doing it, and you see the big names are doing it yeah, in their own style. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So um, I thought to myself, now we are calling ourselves the Wanyambus because uh, mm -hmm. of the baby. But then my wife is Catherine Jerry, I'm Kale Wanyango, so you get the connect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, yes, uh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's, it's, it's something that, uh, you know, the, the, the intermarriages and all that. Yeah. So we decided to turn it into. Uh, a medium for helping people to sell their products online or helping people to meet clients online. Mm -hmm. So we, 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 we've been doing it um, sort of a small scale until I met this uh, wonderful gentleman. Mm -hmm. Actually, Alfred is, is, uh, Alfred is the, the guru in, in digital marketing and all that. All right. You know, I used to do it for free. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I'm so sure people back at home here wako, wako wingi. Yeah, I used yes. to do it for free. Then a lot of friends, a lot of friends talked to me, like, why, why do you, t why, why can't you turn this into an avenue for earning an income? You know, like charge people to post their products on your timeline or their services and all that. Mm -hmm. So that is that is where the idea was born. And I'm glad it has brought us to these guys because they noticed what we were doing online mm -hmm. and they decided to come in. 
All right. Yeah. So, Alpha, before we get into what you guys do at the yes. mm -hmm. so tell us, uh, when because I've had you, the uh, marketing guru here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, tell us, what does it take? How can, for someone who's watching this and they have a social media platform and they love being on social media, mm -hmm. how can they create their fan base, uh, especially with, the, with, with a particular niche? Uh, this is what I say. When it comes to social media, first rule is stay consistent. I think Baba Nyambu here can agree that uh, the moment you go low and don't share a thing, you lose your audience. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep your audience on tabs. Uh, you getting a niche and trying to understand what exactly to do, uh, you have to get something that you really relate to. Mm -hmm. I like Baba Nyambu's style. I've been following. I've been. A, I've been. I've been an avid fol follower of Baba Nyambu for about two years before mm -hmm. I decided to like. Ah, uh, let me see what this guy has to offer. Uh, you need you need you need you need to understand your niche. With Baba Nyambu's niche is that humorous niche that he makes people laugh to at least get them to understand uh, uh, the product that he or she he 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 and uh, the family yeah. are putting out there. People can actually relate. Exactly. Back at home. Exactly. Uh -huh. That you've brought you've brought the reality to them and mm -hmm. tell them that this is how we are going to transform mm -hmm. this, your product to something. You mm -hmm. get. Mm -hmm. So uh, with uh, with influencer marketing. Rule one, consistency. Two, try understand how you're going to approach your your audience. Mm -hmm. What 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 clicks to them? Mm -hmm. What do they understand more? Mm -hmm. What would they want to hear from you? Give them what they want. Mm -hmm. That way, you'll be able to like get an audience and keep them close to oh. yourself. Uh, on the angle of commercial space, mm -hmm. uh, let's look as look at it as we are looking for influencers mm -hmm. now. Does it apply that everyone who has a huge number of following qualifies to be an influencer marketer? No, doesn't. Uh, well, there are people with some very huge numbers, but uh, the conversions co conversion rate is uh, close to nil mm -hmm. or zero. Yeah, so uh, you find that uh, one has a very huge number, but the problem comes in that they can't relate to their audience. Mm -hmm. Their audience don't get whatever they're saying. Mm -hmm. So what happens? Uh, a company goes, gets an influencer, and uh, things don't happen for them, and they're like, what happened? We got you, have the numbers, you promised us things, then mm -hmm. what's happening? What exactly is happening? So, uh, well, there's that, there's that. You get an influencer, and they totally mess you up. Mm -hmm. So number, I'd say numbers, uh, numbers is not what to look at. You look at engagement. How, how, is, how is the influencer engaging with his audience, his or her audience? All right. Yes. Baba Nyambu, so what type of content do you give to your people, Pale Nyumbani? Uh, it's a, it's a, you know, a mixture of everything, a dash of this, a dash of that. Mm -hmm. uh, but one thing you must know as an influencer mm -hmm. or as a social media marketer is uh, there are some issues you have to, to really turn down on because you want to appeal to, to you, want to, you have to appeal to people across the board, uh, religiously, you know, sexual orientations, you know, uh, people have different beliefs, so you're not going to market something for someone mm -hmm. while demeaning another person. So um, I try to 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 create to create a fan post. You know, basically I'm I'm selling an item without looking like I, like I'm selling it. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. uh, the problem with uh, with some of the some of our big names in the influencer field immediately they put up your product online. The customers will focus on the on the personality of the influencer. Mm -hmm. So you're you're trying to sell you're trying to sell beer mm -hmm. to to a crowd. You're trying to sell sanitary pads or you're trying to sell baby stuff. But now people are not focusing on what you're selling. People are focusing on the person that you put there as an influencer. And then as an influencer, you you must ensure you don't have any scandals online. Reputation. You know, uh, <laughs> your your reputation should be. Uh -huh. Of course, there there are, there are normal things uh -huh. like you owe someone money, uh, you you lend them money and you do you did something wrong. But you see, our type of marketing is based on scandals, mm -hmm. which I I don't think should be the case, because uh, your your audience is looking for someone with a flawless uh, type of delivery mode. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to put up my products out there. I'm trying to put up my customers' products out there. But how do people look at that product particularly? So the kind of stories I'm writing, how do they relate with their potential customers? Mm -hmm. yeah, I think that has been working for us for 
quite some time now. And how, what has made you be consistent since the day you started? Um, you just wake up every morning and uh, you tell yourself, I want to do better. I want to make a name for myself and I want to conquer the field. Oh, wow. yeah. uh, for someone who's watching this and they want to be an influencer, that they have a number uh, numbers probably in Instagram, YouTube, or even Facebook page, yeah. what would be your advice? You have to build yourself first. When people see you, uh, they see value in you, add value to whatever you're trying to sell out there. Mm -hmm. uh, minus all the other things, just it's, it's, it's a matter of value addition, that's all. Mm -hmm. Just add value to what you're trying to sell out there. Uh -huh. you put out a picture of someone who is, uh, who is uh, at par with the current, you know, trending, trending situations, hashtags, mm -hmm. catchphrases, you know, storytelling, the, the emotional appeal mm -hmm. of a, a product to the customers. And that is what actually Jikoni saw in me. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is very amazing because they're, go they're going to do a complete makeover of Mamanyambu's kitchen. Amazing. Yeah, and right. we are hoping uh -huh. other guys who are watching this uh -huh. will come on board because we are offering very fresh content. Uh -huh. Yeah, we are Authentic. offering something new, oh, something nice. new to the market. Nice, yeah. nice, yeah. Baba yeah. Nyambu. Eh, hey, Alfred, yes. Upon the person in a talker, Kwako. Eh, so so. <laughs> no, Pesa, he took it when we in a talker from my client. <laughs> so, sir, on the perspective of paying an influencer, mm -hmm. how do you uh, do a proper quotation? Uh, f and how do you go about just, uh, you know, giving what is worth it uh, towards the number mm -hmm. and towards the audience you're going to get from an influencer? You see, a uh, price, uh, price tag comes with some value. Mm -hmm. So you need to offer some exquisite value for you to get the price that you're asking for. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you coming, you're going to a company and telling them that I can do this for you and uh, the value you're offering doesn't match up to the price that you're asking for, mm -hmm. then uh, I'll, if, if I'm the one doing the hiring, I'll give you a big no. Okay. Yes. All right. And for, let's look at on the influencer perspective. Mm -hmm. How can they, if, uh, if I have the numbers mm -hmm. and uh, you guys have not recognized me, you know, the different brands out here, yeah. how can I reach out to these brands? Which is the best way to go about it? Actually, what happens is because I've been, uh, I've been doing this for a while now and uh, when we go to our clients, Actually, most influencers don't look for the clients. It's the client that identifies. Mm -hmm. Because you see, when a client is getting to, uh, to an influencer, they already know what the influencer can do. So a, a company has to sit down, mm -hmm. look at the numbers, look at what the influencer does and how the influencer does it. Mm -hmm. Then from there, we can at least approach. But just for starting for startup influencers, you really need to build yourself up mm -hmm. badly. Mm. If you don't have the energy to like push it hard, mm -hmm. trust me, you won't survive. <laughs> so you have to like uh, make sure that you're consistent. You're sharing your posts out there. Mm -hmm. That you're doing. Uh, that you, your content is top notch, mm -hmm. and also that you're trying to network as much as possible. Get to the get 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 to get to get to companies or uh, clients you feel that you'd relate the product with comfortably and in the best way possible. All right. Now, kumbe kuna watu inasema huwa naona watu wakiwa social media and they're posting uh, things and uh, you know products and everything. They'll be thinking that you know it's so easy. It's an easy job, you know, baba nyambu. Naona hapo ume post uh, this particular brand. Naona ume posting. I'm just thinking like ah, this is a very easy job. I can do it like tomorrow. Like let me just start. You know, it's let me just do it. It's, it's so easy. It doesn't take that much. No, it's not it's not easy as people might imagine. Mm -hmm. Cuz you know uh but as part of being an influencer, you must also be in a position to, to manage a social media page. Mm -hmm. Actually, that is for a beginner. Because, you know, the big guys, they don't actually get into that. They employ someone to do that. Mm -hmm. Or if you're not in the influencer part, but you're doing it in the sense that you're creating a calendar of content, content for a particular client. So a client will approach you. Uh, we want you to tell us. Uh, what can you do for us in a month? Mm -hmm. So I go sit down, I, we do a calendar of events and posts and uh, uploads and mentions and everything, hashtags. So you have to, you have to uh, each day of the week, you have to do a particular post, mm -hmm. a particular hashtag that will uh, make people, when people are searching for that particular hashtag, it, they direct them to your 
to your post. To your post. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know Monday motivation, you know Tuesday vibes, you mm -hmm. understand? Those mm -hmm. kati kati freshes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Upgrade <laughs> lini. Mm -hmm. The way we've been doing with uh, the Jikoni team. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, it is it is really working for us. All right, as yeah. we wind up, a couple of challenges that you've faced. Um, the, the, the biggest challenge as being an influencer or a digital marketer mm -hmm. is that there are clients who expect uh, instant results. Mm -hmm. you no, know, depending on the product that you're trying to push online, mm -hmm. there, are, there, are, there are results that can take up to six months, three months, Mm -hmm. There is one that you can post there and people start making queries there for the, the following day. Like there's a guy I did, uh, there's a guy, he's a very, he's a very hardworking guy because he was, he was working in a, a workshop mm -hmm. and then the owner, the owner just decided to, to close shop after this COVID thing hit us. Mm -hmm. This guy, he worked there for seven months. Mm -hmm. In those seven months, he had learned how to make furniture for himself. He's, oh. a, he's a called to Caleb. Mm -hmm. We share the same name, Caleb, mm -hmm. Caleb Olilo or something. Mm -hmm. So when I put up a post for this guy, mm -hmm. the same same day, mm -hmm. people started asking for, can he do this seat for me? Can he do this table for me? Mm -hmm. So it, it happens. That is the biggest challenge. Uh, clients expecting instant results. It doesn't happen that way. Okay. Yeah, you have to be patient. Mm -hmm. uh, and the consistency part comes in because you have mm -hmm. to post every day or every week or we do monthly posts and all that. Okay. Eventually, mm -hmm. it pays off. It's a total. Yeah. It's a career. It's a whole job. Yeah, it's a whole job. It, it can mm. take your eight to to exactly. five. Exactly, and you need a lot of thinking, a lot of uh, time, mm. no distractions, and all that. And you need to be up to date with what what's trending, what's happening internationally in the country, and all that. All right. So, how can yeah. people find you across all the social media handles? Um. Uh, my Facebook is actually simple, Onyango Wiro mm -hmm. or Babanyambu, mm -hmm. same as uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm not so active on Twitter, but I'll, I'll try getting there. Sawa, sawa. Yeah. And you, Alfred? Uh, you could uh, check uh, Jikoni Essentials on, uh, at Jikoni Essentials KE on all social media platforms. Mm -hmm. We have some amazing offers for everyone out there who has a kitchen. I believe you also have a kitchen out yes, there. Yes, I do. Yeah, and so also my viewers. Yes, and also your viewers mm -hmm. because uh, we are trying to reimagine every kitchen out there. We are trying to reimagine every home out there mm -hmm. by offering the best products and the best services out here. Asante sana. Look out for us as influencers.